Well, good afternoon to all of you in Fundamentals of Human Geography, course number 6350 for Carl Albert State College. I am your instructor, Mr. Jeff Bings, and I am looking forward to um, the next 16 weeks together. And uh, let me just tell you my overarching goal for this course, because I know for many people, it's a maybe a filler course. Um, it has nothing to do with your major. You just had to have something maybe to get full-time status or, but my goal is to help, uh, the overall goal is to help each of you see that there are many human geographies that make up each of our lives. And almost all of them are very, very practical because we are a part of them or interact with them on a daily basis. So that's my overarching goal. Let me uh, go to the course home page. And let's look at that, and that way you don't have to look at my mug. Well, I guess it's up there in the corner, but it's small, smaller. All right, so uh, hopefully you have uh, accessed this by now. When you uh, go into the course, you'll come to this welcome. This is the welcome page the big CASC online logo was right there. And there's my welcome message in print. Please make sure you read this and look at the four main things, communication, participation, student success center, and Make sure you read over the academic integrity policies of Carl Albert. They're all in different colors for ease of finding. Isn't that nice? This video will soon be here, replacing this older one. Also on the welcome page, you have our Carl Albert American with Disabilities Act statement. Then the syllabus in both Word document form and PDF with a nice meme of one of Will Ferrell's Saturday Night Live characters in that nice. And then the course textbook information Carl Albert does have them, but if you have to be quarantined or you um, not going to be making it to Poto or Salisaw soon, I've listed some other ways to get a copy of the textbook. Now, going back to the top on the left hand side, you'll see Start Working tab. And that's where you will go to find your assignments. Our course will be in a modular format. And there will be four modules over the 16 weeks. So that gives you four weeks per module. Now, you will see here a folder that says module one. When you click on that, it will give you a general overview of the module assignments, along with what you have to read, the date of the module, and then down here are is the homework uh, homework the description of the homework assignments for module one as well as when exam one will be 
but you'll probably want to make note of this here, exam one, open book, all caps, italicized and highlighted. That's right, my friends, the tests are open book. I understand, well, since pretty much all of us, once we get into the work world and we are working and doing things and maybe something comes up and we don't remember exactly what we learned in school, we can always consult our old textbooks or we can consult some source of information. A couple of years ago, I was at my doctor and I had a pain in my wrist describing it to him and he was looking at it and he went and got his anatomy book to figure out exactly which tendon it, tendon it was. So there was a medical doctor using an old anatomy book. So um, the book, the, the tests are open book because I want you to, to really learn and retain the material. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the start working tab and then you'll see that underneath module one overview is the assignments in this folder. And here are the individual assignments broken down for you with due dates and all the instructions. So that's where you will find your assignments. Back to the, mod, the Start Working tab. You can see here that I have provided the needed material from the textbook for the Module 1 assignments because I know some of you will not get your textbook until maybe the second week of the class. So you'll read as you, you'll see as you read the assignments, the pages that you will need and I have provided those here where the praying mantis meme is. Then where we have Bill and Ted, supplemental materials for module one. They're not required, but just some extra sources that maybe you might want to use if you have time for your assignment. And then when we get close to module two, these will be opened up for you to access. But as I go back to module one, general um, folder, you can see that everything's pretty much laid out. And uh, the due dates, uh i'll make sure i add them in this page too but the due dates are all there and um you have the due dates are set up so that you can work at your own pace you can turn things in earlier than the due date for example You have a discussion, this module. Your initial reply needs to be posted by January 18th. And then at least four responses to classmates by January 29th. Now, you can put your initial post before January 18th. And you can reply before January 29th, of course. Matter of fact, I have asked you to make sure that you spread out your replies over at least three separate days. Don't wait until January 29th and put four replies all within 10 minutes time. We want the discussion to go on throughout the module. It just makes the class that much more enriching. Your first brief will be due Friday, January 22nd, but you can get it done by this Friday, the 15th, or Monday, the 18th, all right? So pretty self-explanatory. 
And there's a little section here to tell you what a brief is because we're not talking about Fruit of the Looms. All righty, I'm gonna go back now to the general module one page and you'll see at the bottom here that let's say you don't get something turned in by the due date. Well, you can turn it in before the end of the module. So for example, module one ends on February 9th. Let's say that the, uh, you know, the first brief that I just mentioned is due Friday the 22nd. Let's say you don't get it in in time by the due date. You can turn it in after that as long as it's before February 9th, the last day of module one. Anything turned in that is module one work after February 9 will receive a zero. Exceptions are only granted to those students who contact me and let me know why you can't do it. Turning in something on February 10th, that is a module one assignment and you turn it in and say, oh, sorry, I forgot. That's not going to be accepted. All right, so um, you'll see here on the left, other links, links to the library, Vite Connect, Frequently Asked Questions, several questions there that are the most asked by students. So make sure you realize that. I need help folder. This is a folder with several things. Number one, where to go for help from Carl Albert. I have direct links to free tutoring, the Learning Resource Center. If you're having enrollment issues, Blackboard issues, IT questions, or anything related to the whole online program, Sarah Brown is our coordinator. Here is her information. So anything Carl Albert related, these one, two, three, six things here are all right here in this folder with the links. Please use MLA format in your assignments. You'll see here that as I click onto this link, it will go directly to Purdue University's online writing lab, MLA style. All the links right here to MLA. And then, Remember one of the four things that I asked you to do was to make sure you read Carl Albert's policy on plagiarism. Now you will find that in the syllabus, but I also want you to read these three, or actually uh, you don't have to read them. Some of them are, a couple of them are just uh, slides. Make sure you look at these three things so that you will know how to avoid plagiarism. For example, if you copy and paste something from the internet and slap it on something you turn in and say it's your work, that's plagiarism. I have ways to check that. So don't think that you can do that and not get uh, called out on it. So to make sure you avoid plagiarism, Look at these very simple charts. And this one here is a seven slide presentation about how not to plagiarize. All right. So you see a tab there for Zoom instructions. Voila, there are no Zoom instructions because this is not a Zoom course. Although from time to time, I will try to post videos much shorter than this one about some of the subject matter. 
my instructor tab. If you go here, you'll see that wonderful picture of me. And then if you click on this here, you can read some interesting biography about me. So I think that's it. So again, remember the four big things, communication, participation, student success center, and read over the academic integrity policy of Carl Albert. Number one is number one for a reason, communication, communication, communication. This is so vital to the course, especially since you will not be seeing me two or three times a week like an in-person class. So make sure you stay in contact with me if you have any issues like getting a textbook or financial aid issues. If you have something come up like a sick child or you're sick, contact me as soon as possible. Keep that communication going and I'm gonna work with you to help you succeed. I have listed my home and cell number, and you have my Car Albert email um, on the uh, information about the instructor. Please try to keep your communication between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., especially phone calls. I will daily check my emails and um, text messages but I am going to have two hours a week that will be completely set aside as office hours. And those are Mondays from three to 5 p.m. So if you absolutely have to call me, you will get a hold of me Monday between three and 5 p.m. 10 a.m., I might, I might be somewhere and can't answer my phone then but I will leave Monday from three to 5 p.m. that two hour block open for um, immediate um, access and communication. So I'm excited, looking forward. I think you're gonna enjoy the assignments. And um, again, I think you're gonna see that human geography is uh, very practical and a big part of your life, more than you would ever have thought. So with that said, have a great evening and um, we will be uh, communicating through our means of communication and I'll be sharing videos from time to time. So good luck and um, have a great evening and we'll be going together through this course. Bye-bye.